we're going to be taking a look at Team Hook Suggestions author. We assume that we have a Drupal instance with custom team, please enable Tweak Debug. And we're going to see the viable team suggestions. We're going to implement the Hook Team Suggestion author function. We're going to add our team suggestion and implement the template for it. So here is our Drupal instance and as I said, we have custom team and the tweak debug function enabled, which basically means that as we click inspect and as we check for the field tweak template, we see that we have these team suggestions. And if we go to the node detail page and as we click somewhere in the node detail page, and we see that, for example, for the node to have these template suggestions. So we could implement any of these templates and they're getting more specific. First, they're more general, like node, then node foo, then node the content type of the node, then the content type and the view mode, and then we have also the node ID, stuff like that. So. I will show you how you could add your own team suggestions here. We could do it basically with the hook team suggestions author. And we're going to copy this function. And in our code base, in our custom team, we're going to create a file called the name of the team dot team. And here we're going to be writing PHP and we're going to implement this function. Let's say that here we have PHP and that we are implementing this this hook. That's perfect. And instead of hook, we're going to write the name of our team Drupal up. And let's go ahead and say here var dump and let's say the hook. And if you see, we have the suggestions here passed by reference and we have the variables. So for example, if you have a node here, you would have some fields. So if you want to change the team suggestion based on some fields that you have. Hook is basically, for example, if you have the team suggestions for field, the hook would be field. If you have the team suggestions for the node, the hook would be node and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and save it and go to our Drupal instance and clear the cache. And basically we are seeing in different places of our page, different var dump outputs. And what we're interested in is basically, if we go somewhere here around the tabs and yeah, if we just search for note, we see that here we have the note. So let's go ahead and we just saw that for the for the node basically we have these team suggestions. Let's go ahead and add a team suggestion called node dash dash Drupal up for example so that we are completely sure that it's a new team suggestion. So if we go here and if we say if the hook value is node. So just for the node, we don't want to add this team suggestion for every element on the page. We say suggestions from here. And we're saying that we want a new suggestion called node Drupal up. And that's all. And as the suggestions array is passed by reference, it means that we don't have to return it. So we're good like that. 
and if we now go ahead and clear the cache one more time and if we scroll down to the node somewhere here maybe even deeper we see that now we have node dash dash drupal up html tweak and basically that means that we could implement this template so let's go ahead and do it inside of bartik let's go ahead to copy the node default template that we have so copy and let's just create a new folder templates and paste it here that's perfect and let's go ahead and use this name so if I rename it and if I say like this and here I would just say welcome from our custom template let's go ahead and make it a bit nicer so that we make sure that it's at least translatable like this and if we go ahead and clear the cache now Yes, we see welcome from our custom template and that's because our custom template was implemented and now the current used template is node-drupalop.html.twig. Perfect. So if you like this video, please check the links in the description, subscribe, comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching.